Hey guys, what's up? How are you all doing? Oh my goodness. So we are back to another season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, Real Housewives of New Jersey. Um, so I was going to go live on this and um, I, I was, but then I changed my mind. I was like, you know, I'm just going to make a quick review video of this. And just to kind of get my thoughts out there and really get into depth of what I like what my review was about this first episode so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go run down the run down of course the review and leave my commentary at last so my commentary is gonna to be towards the end because I do have a lot to say I feel like this episode was already a kick all right, so I just felt like there I had a lot to say. So I'm just going to say that for last and hope you guys stay tuned and stick it to the end. All right, so we start out this, see, this episode with uh, Jackie's having a party for Evan. So she's throwing Evan, a, I believe, a birthday party. And of course, she invites her friends, all the ladies. We see Margaret. We see Melissa. We see Jennifer, just all the ladies are there, and we all, and uh, Teresa a lot, uh, arrives at last. So she was the last person to arrive. And so, the so yeah, she invites the friends, and you know, Evan, she just wants to do something really nice for Evan. She just feels like Evan really deserves this, and she just wants to make him feel good, you know. So, and I have to say, I'm really loving Melissa's dress. Like, Melissa really looks really good. For, like, she's, it seems like she really works out and really takes good care of herself. And I have to say, Melissa looks really great. And I'm loving that lime green color on her. It really brings out her, um, just defines her beauty. And it just really looks good on her. So, I, it was really good to see Melissa. So, apparently, Dolores has has you know did some surgery some selective surgeries and of course the ladies notice and Mel melissa and margaret are talking and margaret asks if she's ready to see jennifer and melissa's like you know i'm really i'm here to enjoy her friend's party and she's not really worried about that you know that was whatever happened was last year so for this moment she's going to enjoy what's happening right now and she can worry about that later so, so Melissa's right now, she's not phased. If she sees Jennifer, she sees her, but she's not really phased about what happened with them last year. So Margaret also introduced us to their girl, also introduced their girls that she's having a day trip. And they're all, now they're wondering where Teresa is because Teresa's not there. As I mentioned, Teresa's last person to arrive. So her and Margaret are like, where's Teresa? And then Teresa eventually arrives. And Jackie asks if she's dating anyone, because of course we know that Teresa sing of Teresa's currently single. When, when this was happening, Teresa was single, um, besides her divorce from from Joe. And you know, Teresa says she is single. All right, so now Jackie makes a toast to Evan, and you know, they're just lip blocking, kissing, just a lovely moment, beautiful moment, just, just you know, just, <clears throat> just some, a nice moment to really uh, celebrate your significant significant other's accomplishment so this is also the scene where Teresa tells the ladies that she heard that Evan screws screws around at the gym so remind you this is a birthday party and everyone it seems like everyone is just doing their own thing and no one is at this point no one's really bringing drama or no one's really gossiping or just saying any extra stuff Every, everyone's just doing their own thing and just having a, a nice time for the moment and Teresa is the only one who brings this up she's asking everyone she goes to Margaret of course she she's Margaret's the first person she tells she asked Margaret you know have you heard about Evan Evan is screwing around I heard when he goes to the gym you know he's screwing around on Jackie and Margaret's like no you know what kind of stuff uh, did you hear and she says that he screws around and Margaret just does not want to hear and this is I would say I'm really proud of Margaret that Margaret spoke up because Margaret's like I don't want to hear this you know you're just talking about my friend right now I don't want to hear this 
and she tells Teresa she has not heard it and she's basically shutting it down. She says, Teresa, listen, I'm not listening to this. So Margaret shuts that down. So Melissa, of course, hears it and she also says that she heard it too. And she, she heard it last year. I believe it was from Teresa that she heard it from, but she said it went from other from one ear to the other and she was really paying attention to it and she just feels like right now Teresa needs to shut up so that's what Melissa says and Melissa also makes it known that Teresa does not have receipts like it's like she's saying this but she does not have proof or evidence and she's like Margaret no like what happens when you know you say so you bring up a rumor and if there's no receipts then you know, we're not buying it or, you know, we're not paying attention to it. So Teresa is also telling the ladies and even eventually Joe Gorga, Melissa's husband, her brother also hears it, and he's also in denial. Like, no, I didn't hear this. You know, when did you, when was this? So this eventually gets to Joe and it's just like, how did this go from all the ladies and then to Joe? So he's also denying that he hasn't heard it either. So at this point, Jackie does not know about the rumor. Of course, Jackie is just having fun, you know, with her husband. Her and Evan has not heard it at this point. And so that was the end of that party. You know, everyone, the, the party ends, everyone leaves. And that was that for that scene. So we move on to Melissa and Joe Gorga's house. And of course, Melissa's daughter is turning 15 and they're planning on what to do for her birthday and of course Joe is like you know the girls are inviting their friends and I believe they're also inviting a few a few boys of course and Joe's like you know we're not having no boys around you know he, he wants his daughter to be just like any other any other parent would want their daughter to not be thinking about boys and just to be you know stay focused and stay all holy according to Joe so, and it just sounds like Melissa has other plans as well. And Melissa also says, yeah, we're going to do something. You know, we're, we're you know, we're going to there. She, she can't invite who she wants to invite, but we'll be sure to regulate the rules for her where we know that this will not be going on. You know, the kissing and, the, you know, just the boyish and love type of stuff. So, so Melissa makes that known and... We're also at Margaret's home and she, Margaret is basically telling Marge Sr. that basically what happened last night with what, what was going on last night about Teresa basically saying the rumors that she heard about Evan cheating on Jackie. And this is also the scene where basically Melissa and Joe are also talking at their home. They're like, Joe is a little bit historic. Like, he's like, I have not heard nothing like this. You know, and he also mentions that Teresa holds grudges. And they replay what happened, you know, in the past year with how Teresa will go about stuff. And basically also replays a video where Jackie was like, if it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck. And I think she was mentioning Teresa. She was basically re referring to Teresa. So they also pull that as well. So I think that they're trying to put two and two together. Maybe that's why Teresa said what she said. Because again, like Joe, Joe said, his sister holds grudges. So this probably has a lot to do with what happened. So Melissa and Joe are like in disbelief. Of course, Joe knows his sister. He's just like, yeah, that's how she is. And he's just in disbelief. Like no one has heard about Evan Jean on Jackie. And again, no one's even believe in it so we're moving on to Dolores and Dolores's saga Dolores lets us know that her ex she lives with her she still lives with her ex-husband however she has a boyfriend David and eventually her son is living with the boyfriend because her son is I believe is taking his is taking his um, exam to get into business school so he's there he's studying for it and she just prefers him staying there because it's a little quieter and it's a little neater and this is also the part where David is 
basically confronts Dolores and tells and asks Dolores that, you know, when did you get this? When did you have the surgery? That he didn't know that she had she had a surgery. And Dolores is basically defending herself and just feels like David should be a little bit supportive. But then David does bring up a good point and he's like, you know, what if you have complications? And Dolores is at this point still defending herself that, you know, she feels like he should be at her side right now. She feels like she needs to go for this procedure. He should be a little bit supportive about this. So David's just like, I'm done. So <laughs> he's just basically like, I'm done. He it walks that he walks away from all of that. All right, so fast forward to Jennifer's house. So Jennifer is hosting a dinner and she's inviting all her family. And apparently her dad is living with them, is living with her and her family. And basically, and I feel so bad for the dad. This just, this part kind of made me a little bit emotional because it just seems like Jennifer's, the way that they were, Jennifer was saying it, it seems like her mom is a little bit complicated to get along with since her brother moved, because um, the brother used to live with the parents, but since he moved to back to Turkey with his wife, things has not been the same. It feels like the mom is mistreating the dad. So, and even the dad said that he, you know, they argue all the time and Jackie just feels like the dad is always, is like the punch him bag. He gets the aftermath of all of that. So she moves the dad in to live with her. She's just like, she can't let the dad go through this. And, and she feels it and she, and it's, it's a little sad because it's like, the dad is just, he just looks so innocent. You know, he just looks like he doesn't, he's, he doesn't even lay, he doesn't even say anything. He's just mute. Like he's basically expressing his daughter that, you know, how he was being treated. So it just seems overall Melissa's mom is just a complicated person to just get along with. And Melissa feels like she's in the middle right now because her mom wasn't, was of course not there for the dinner. And Melissa's just a little bit torn in between, but she feels like this is also the good, the right thing to do was to move her dad away from the mom, you know, to mediate the situation. And yeah, it's bad just that they argue all the time. So this is also moving on to Jackie. So Jackie calls Teresa and lets Teresa know that she heard about the rumor and that the, the forced rumor she was spreading and that they should meet at Margaret's house to talk. And Teresa said, why at Margaret's house? And Jackie's like, cause that's the safest place they can go. So of course we know that at this point, Jackie and, I mean, Evan knows about the rumor. And Jackie says that he's just angry about hearing this rumor. And it's just the, it's just the worst day, the worst days of their life. It seems like since this rumor was, was put out there, it's just been, they just been having the worst times of their lives. So Margaret, so fast forward to, Jackie arrives at Margaret's house and of course she's also letting Jackie Margaret know that she's she's still sad about this rumor that she's hearing like when I look at Jackie I'm looking at a sad she's just sad like it's just she's down she just looks like she does not look like herself you know so she's just basically letting Margaret know that she just can't believe this is happening and of course Margaret's on her side and Margaret is just saying, you know, just calm down, come over here, and you know, hopefully, you guys can talk about it. So, again, Jackie does arrive at Margaret's house, and oh my goodness. So, is it just me, or does Margaret look so different with without her makeup? Or I'm not sure what's going on with like with the face, but it, Margaret looks like a total a total different person. So, I just that really shocked me. I was like, whoa, my goodness, this is not Margaret. But yeah, I don't know. But so then Teresa arrives and only thing that Jackie wants Teresa to do is to admit that this is a rumor and she wants Teresa to basically, since she started the rumor, she should also close it as well. She should say, admit that it's a rumor and that basically it's a lie. 
and that she needs to admit it. So Teresa is basically, Teresa's not giving up, is not letting up. She's not going to say that this is a lie. Teresa is still admitting that, that she heard it, that this was a rumor. And she, that she heard it from someone and she's not telling who it is because Jackie wants to know who it is. So that they're just going back and forth at this point and I'm just like Jackie just let it go because Teresa is not admitting anything she's not going to that's just who Teresa is she's not going to admit it it's just like you arguing back and forth you're not getting anywhere so they asked Margaret so Teresa asked Margaret if you heard that Joe you know Margaret's significant other was cheating would you want to would you want to know Margaret responds and says, no, not at a party. So she's basically, of course, reflecting how Teresa was telling them about Evan cheating at Jackie's, the party that Jackie threw for her husband. <sighs> All right. So Teresa at this point says that she didn't spread the rumor, that she heard the rumor. That she, that she didn't spread the rumor, she heard the rumor. Okay, so Jackie says, well, what if I heard that basically Teresa's daughter, and I don't want to say this, blank, blank, at bathroom at parties. Basically, you know, she takes in some hard stuff and, you know, she blows, you know, like, she, I don't want to repeat it, but... If you do, just watch the Real Housewives of New Jersey and you, you hear that phrase. So, Jackie's basically putting two and two together. She's like, so how is not how is is that not the same thing? You want to talk about my husband, so let's bring about your daughter. So, Jackie says, you want the life I'm living? I win. So, of course, Teresa's really triggered at this. Teresa is triggered. So Teresa, at this point, Teresa, of course, gets up. She storms out and calls Jackie nasty. She calls her just some explicit words, um, just saying that she's just a just a horrible person. And at this point, it just seems like Jackie is now the villain and Teresa is the victim. See how that Teresa switched that all around now? Now she's the victim and now Jackie is the villain. Wow. So, of course, that's what Margaret arrived. Margaret's like, what is going on? What is going on? Of course, Teresa tells her what happened. And, you know, that's when the scene, obviously, the episode cuts off. So, let me just say a few things. Let me just start out with Melissa. So, I would say when Melissa heard that rumor, when Teresa was saying that, I did not see where Teresa, where, I'm sorry, where Melissa defended Jackie or just like Margaret defended Jackie and said, Teresa, you know, this is not the right time. This is not the right place for you to talk about this. It just seems like she was hearing it, but she wasn't saying anything to diffuse it or to let Teresa know this is not cool, just like Margaret did. So another thing I did want to say was that let's just move, move next, move to Teresa. Teresa has had we've since we've been watching the show we know Teresa Teresa has this is what Teresa does Teresa likes to bring up things at monumental moments significant moments when people are having events she just it's, it just seems like for me I just seem it just seems like Teresa is not happy for everyone else it's like if it's not about her then she's not happy why would you bring talk about someone husband cheating on her at his own party instead of you waiting and saying you know hey Margaret maybe at some other event maybe when you and Margaret are having a one-to-one -one, you mention to Margaret you know I heard this but you discuss this bring this up at a party why at a party and not just any party but that person's party and it's funny because it seemed like no one was even buying into Teresa's mess everyone was just kind of tuning her off even her own brother knew knows how, this is how this is what Teresa does knowing that this is Teresa is very vindictive she holds grudges and again this could be referring to 
when Jackie basically made a, a comment about Teresa saying if she walks like a duck, she quacks like a duck. Uh, I believe it was last year, last last season. Um, so I think that Teresa may be holding a grudge from her and Jackie's, you know, argument um, last season. So we know that Teresa has not forgiven Jackie because for you to say that you heard the rumor and that you didn't spread the rumor, that you heard the rumor, you heard the rumor, but you still spread the rumor. Telling people, you didn't just tell one person, you told Melissa, you told um, your brother eventually heard it. All the ladies there heard it. And I'm pretty sure some more people have probably at that party heard it and maybe some more other people. So you did eventually take part in spreading the rumor. And it just seems like Teresa hates to admit that she's wrong. And it's going from one ear to the other. Just like Melissa said, I do have to agree. It it just goes from one ear to other. Talking to Teresa goes from one ear to, a, to one another. So Teresa, at this point, Teresa, you are wrong. There is nothing that you can say that, you know, that can that can turn the situation around. Just the men say, you know, I was wrong. I should have said this. I should have called you or I should have said this or I should have not said this. But instead, you insisted that you heard that you didn't spread the room, that you just heard it. BS, Teresa. BS. BS. And so Jackie and I really, and I have to say, when Jack, when Jackie told Teresa, I win, you want the life that I'm living, I was like, you go, girl. Like, you go, girl. Because that right there, Teresa flipped. And it's unfortunate that she did have to mention Teresa's daughter in this. But again, she was just basically comparing the two. Like, is it not the same? You bring about, you talk about someone that's so close to me, so I should be able to talk about someone that is close to you. And I guess it's an analogy. Like, it's not that it's true, but again, it is just putting two and two together. This is how I, this is how I feel when you said this about my husband. So let me just also get you to reflect. What if someone said this about your daughter? Again, so Teresa, I, I saw that when Teresa left. I saw, I mean, it's obvious that she felt she was hurt. Just like ja how Jackie was feeling. Except that Jackie was not spreading the room, was not telling other people. She was telling you. So that is just, that is a major difference. So it's, so for me, I just feel like, you know, Jackie, Jackie stood her, stood her own. She definitely stood her own. And I believe she didn't, you know, I think that Teresa has definitely found her match. So she should just, so she should definitely, you know, pull her big pants, pull her big girl pants on and face it. So again, I just feel like, like I said, it's like, it's now like Teresa is now the victim and Jackie's now the villain because it's going to make, what she said about Teresa's daughter is going to make Teresa use that and say, how can she say this about my daughter? And who knows how the other ladies will feel about this, especially when people say, oh, don't bring kids into the situation. But again, it's just like, Teresa, I don't know if there's any accountability, if she's even holding her own self accountability for what she said. Of course not. So, you guys, tell me what you guys think. Like, do you guys think that Teresa's action at Jackie's party was vindicated against Jackie? And also, was Jackie's analogy about Teresa's daughter similar to the comments about her husband? Like, what do you guys think? Because according to E, Teresa also says that, you know, the reason why she basically said what she said was that she was drunk at a party. She was drunk at the party. So that may have slipped. So she basically, she was saying that the reason why all this was said because she was a drunk. So how, so are, how do you, are you guys believing that? Like, what do you guys think about that? Like, it just seems like Teresa's always, does it seem like she's always drunk or something? Because she seems like she always says stuff. She always has an explosive response to things. And she does it at the wrong time. 
So, I don't know. You guys, tell me what you guys think. Like, you know, just the whole issue, like, that happened, like, that transpired. Do you think that Jackie was wrong? Do you think that Teresa was wrong? You know, just drop your comments down below. And we will see you all in another video. Until next time, peace, love, and blessings.